Welcome back to another player build, y'all. Today we have one of the few relevant players on the New York Islanders, no offense Islanders fans, Matthew Barzell. And real quick before we get into it, all I ask if you are enjoying the series and want to continue to see an NHL 24, drop a quick sub with notice on so it lets me know you guys are enjoying the series and want to continue to see me putting it out in NHL 24. With that being said, let's get right into game one for y'all. Let's get here we go, boys. Hopping into game one with the Matty Barzal build. And we're officially rounding out and finishing up with our last few player builds of NHL 23. Naz Cheeks is hopefully scoring this penalty shot. I, of course, have to thank y'all for all the love. And, of course, if you are new to the series and not already subbed, definitely sub with Nodi's on because this series will continue and will be way, way, way better in NHL 24. I promise y'all that. let's go baby we take those i was trying to snipe a top left on the goalie slip but i think got a poke whatever we take those damn it i try i try to make a little something happen there i just couldn't do it damn Good play by them. Hopping in a period two, y'all. And I just want to say, do not worry. Just because the player build series will be ending soon for NHL 23, we will still have a little bit of time before NHL 24. Let's go. Good play, Cheeks. So I will still be co posting content, a couple different challenges, some NHL 24 news, and just some overall different type content just to see kind of how y'all like that out. Test the water with that a little bit. No, dude, I can't hit freaking one tees for shit. Like that is no joke to y'all. Like y'all be thinking I'm making that up in these videos, bro. I'm just not good at one tees for real. Don't know what it is. Oh man, here we go, fellas. Hopping into the third period, and honestly, I don't have a challenge for this Barzal build. We're obviously just gonna try and show it off as best we can. Get some W's, score some nice goals. You know the vibes. Let's go, boys. There's another assist for Barzale. Now, despite the slow start in the first two periods, there's no reason we cannot still show out with this Barzale build in this third period. Come on. Shit. 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 Well, there we go. Okay, there's a nice little assist again from Barzell. And it really sucks because this would definitely be game two because I had another game where we absolutely killed the other team. We had seven goals with the Barzell build. Absolutely showed off. Had some of my nicest assists of the year. And then the footage gets corrupted because my OBS glitched out and yep, pretty much that's what happened to my footage right there. Got absolutely destroyed. Oh yeah. Let's go. What a play by Cheeks. What an absolute snipe from Barzal. Hi goodbye as you see those dudes did unfortunately quit with about 10 minutes left in the third but that didn't stop us from putting up five points two goals three assists totaling five out of our seven total points that we could have had barzal played absolutely phenomenal we had a really really slow start in the first two periods but we really really picked it up and played our asses off in that third period which is when the best players come alive the best players are made in that third period and that is exactly what barzal did so let's hop right into game two for y'all where i promise y'all more goals more nasty assists and more barzal highlights let's get right into it for y'all here we go, boys. Hopping into game two with the Matthew Barzal build. I know that probably wasn't the best game game one because, you know, we did have a really, really slow start. But, you know, that just shows you how fast momentum can change things and how fast a couple quick goals can really change the tide. Oh, what a dot. 
What a dot from Barzale. Nice. Oh yeah, oh, that's a great pass. There it is. Oh, beautiful setup from Cheeks. Now I didn't really talk much about um, Matty Barzal and the Islanders like in the actual NHL very much in game one, but I'm gonna use this time here to do this in game two because I'm really not sure. I mean, listen, Barzal is obviously a hell of a player. Sorokin, absolutely incredible goalie. But other than that, they don't have very many like notable, notable stars. You know, they they have some good talent on that team. I'm not I'm not discrediting the talent on that roster whatsoever. But you know, I just don't know if if it's necessarily championship contention roster worthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at the Islanders roster compared to like Boston or like the Rangers or something. And obviously, they didn't win the chip this past year. But like. That's what a championship roster looks like nine times out of 10, you know? But hey, maybe if Barzal keeps doing stuff like that, they can absolutely win a chip. Here we go, fellas. Hopping in the second period. Definitely better than our first period the last time, but not our best period by any means. Come on. Ew, beautiful play, Cheeks. What a pass. What a finish from Barzal. Nice. Nice, 2K. Not... Oh, my gosh. They couldn't... 2K couldn't have messed that up worse, but then they messed that up even worse than 2K did somehow. And Cheeks is out here teabag... Oh! Oh, no! And 2K is tripping his own team. What is going... What in the world is going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Ew. Dot. Dot. Finish that one, Cheeks, please. Thank you. Let's go. I have no idea how he scored that low key. Oh, my. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We say he's PG around here. You sure about that? You sure about that? No. Take that. Okay. No. Yeah, no. Let's, let's let him score, guys. Let's give him more free goals. Here we go, boys. Hopping in the third period. Once again, I mean, definitely way better than our first two periods of last time. But nonetheless, still a little bit slow, if I do say so myself. So let's try and get a few more goals, a few more nasty little assists here. And we can call this one a freaking goaded video as always, boys. Oh, no shot. Go in! Oh, I hate this game. Okay. Good shit, Cheeks. Oh, big saves. Oh, yeah. Come behind me. Get in! Let's go! Drop pass to the Cheeks. Freaking no shot to the own goal. We take that, baby. What a play. Oh. Well, I think they're done. I think it might be safe to say they're done. <laughs> we got... <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. That has to be one of the funniest plays of all time in Shell. Ew! And Cheeks hits the Mishy. I guess they're just giving us a couple free, more free goals. I guess I'll take it. Dang. I mean, what can I say, boys? It's not my fault that this Matty Barzell build literally is making everybody rage quit right now. That's not my fault. <laughs> All right, go, go, go. <laughs> absolutely phenomenal second game from the boys as you see we only had two goals four assists six out of our 10 points but the reason for that every one of our points came before all of those dudes just straight up stopped playing and basically rage quit without actually rage quitting they just pretty much walked away from their console and just like left their stuff there i don't know if they were all doing something but regardless 
as you all saw, this Matty Barzell build literally makes everybody rage quit. We made him quit in the first game. We made him quit without quitting in the second game. Let's hop right into the build for y'all because I know you're absolutely going to love this Matty Barzell build. Let's get right into it for y'all. Now, when it comes to a Matthew Barzell build, honestly, I had two different ways that I really debated making this build. They were extremely, extremely similar. The only difference is one was a playmaker, one was a dangler. One highlighted his playmaking and passing a little bit more. One highlighted his dangling and deking a little bit more. However, when I think of Matthew Barzell, the first thing that really comes to mind, of course, his extreme speed. And along with that is his absolutely silky mitts. So we did decide to go with the dangler version. Now we are able to make him his actual height, which is six foot one. But we had to make him lose a little bit of weight because he's listed at 190. But we had to drop him down to 160 because he's just so quick giving him his actual height and weight i just felt like the speed we were able to get for him was just not fast enough for him so he does shoot right-handed as well and abilities and boosts we will come back to as always first for matty barzell's technique attributes all you're going to do is add five to speed of course then take three off agility two off balance then take one off both slap shot and wrist shot accuracy i know we kind of had to tank some attributes that we wouldn't necessarily want to tank there but do not worry we will be making up for them later in the build next for your power attributes all you want to do is add four to your puck control three to both slap shot and wrist shot power then take five off your acceleration as as y'all saw this maddie barzal build is plenty fast with 82 acceleration then take four off your endurance after that, all you want to do is add five to both passing and your offensive awareness, of course, then take four off body checking, four off stick checking, and one off your defensive awareness. For your tenacity attributes, all you want to do is add three to your hand eye, two to your strength and although matty barzal isn't one of the biggest players in the league size wise he definitely is one of the stronger type players not one of the strongest i'd say but he is a stronger type player especially for his side so i at least want to increase his strength a little bit then take five off your shot blocking and four off your durability and finally for your last attributes your tactics attributes all you want to do is add three to your deking and we're not maxing out deking because i felt like it wasn't really necessary i felt like 93 more than represented Matty Barzell and paired with some of the abilities we're going to give him. I felt like that was plenty for his deking. We made him a dangler, so I didn't feel like we really needed to max out his deking, but we did have to take five off fighting and four off faceoffs as he is, of course, a winger, so we don't have any type of purpose for faceoffs. Now, going back to zone abilities, you obviously could really use either of the stick handling ones if you really wanted to, but at the end of the day, there is one ability that represents Matty Barzell above all the rest and that is elite edges and like I told y'all before we were going to make up for some of the attributes that we had to tank a little bit that we wouldn't necessarily have wanted to agility being one of those attributes and gold elite edges is more than adding like a boost or anything like that so it will more than represent his agility now for Barzell's superstar abilities for his first one I really of course wanted to give him some kind of stick handling one and being that he is one of the fastest skaters in the league Puck on a string just didn't feel right. So we did give him ankle breaker for his first one. Then for his second one, although we didn't make him a playmaker, I felt like I still really needed to show off his passing because it may not be the top staple of his game, in my opinion, but it is absolutely one of the main staples of his game. And one of the things he is definitely known for, just maybe not the tippity top, in my opinion. So we did give him third eye for his second superstar ability. And finally, for Barzal's boost for his first one, of course, of course, we had to give Matty Barzal power skating. 94 speed felt perfect because I gave Connor McDavid David 95. He's the only player I gave 95 speed. And I feel like McDavid's just kind of on a whole different speed level than every other player. But Matty Barzal is a really, really fast skater and can definitely kind of keep up with McDavid. I would just say probably McDavid's faster overall. So that's why I decided to give him slightly less speed than we gave the McDavid build. 
Then for the second one, like I said before, I wanted to show off his passing a little bit more. Even though I decided not to go with the playmaker for his archetype, I still wanted to really hammer the point home. And he is an extremely incredible playmaker and passer. So we gave him control passing for his second boost. And that is how we recreated Matthew Barzal of the New York Islanders right here in the ASHL. We only have a couple more builds coming up for this year, boys. And then it's on to NHL 24. There will be a few more videos in between so do not worry be sure to check out for the polls though because i will keep y'all updated on everything that's going on with the player builds and everything when the last one is when the last poll is all that good stuff so be sure to check out the communities tab of the channel but if you are enjoying the series and do want to continue to see an nhl 24 feel free to drop a like comment any other players you want to see me recreate in nhl 24 when that game comes out and sub it notice on so you don't miss your favorite players in the future i really appreciate you boys watching i I cannot thank you for enough for all the support in NHL 23 on this series. Thank y'all boys so much. We are just getting started and I'll see y'all boys in the next one. Let's get it.